Hey guys, today we're going to be doing another Halloween look. Um, I think <clears throat> I want to do like a scratch. First I was going to make it a scar, but now I feel like I should make it like a, as if I've been clawed down the face, you know? <laughs> um, I've obviously already done my eyes just because they're very simple. Just a bit of liner, a bit of lashes. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get straight on to the fun part pretty much. Today I will be using Cinewax, which I absolutely, I have a very love-hate relationship with Cinewax. It's a great product, it's so hard to use and such a pain in my ass. But this is how it looks here. Obviously mine's a little bit messy, but yeah, it's a really good product. Absolute pain to use, but I need it for what I need to do today. So I'm going to speed this part up because it takes me ages and it's annoying to use but pretty much what I'm going to do is do like three little lines down here as if I've been scratched pretty much so that's what we're doing now. Okay so I've taken a bit of a different approach because it, this Cinewax is too hard to work with so I have gone for just one mark instead of the three original that I had planned. Um, so what I did was I put some liquid latex down, I got like a roll of Cinewax, like pushed it on my head, set it with liquid latex and then just cut it open so it looks like a wound so at the moment I'm just waiting for this to dry um so yeah I'm pretty much waiting and then when this is dry we'll come back and we'll add everything on top and start making this into a, a wound okay so we're gonna prime with the Tatcha silk canvas primer and foundation today I'm gonna take the Clinique one hopefully it'll look a bit better like oh after it's like a bit more defined and stuff like <laughs> at the moment it's obviously not looking like anything much but we'll give it time okay so this is the clinic beyond perfecting foundation in c n linen or something like that c n 08 linen which yes i know it's not my shade okay <sighs> Sephora. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but where I live, I actually don't have a Sephora. Um, there's not one in my state, so anything like Fenty Beauty, Anastasia, um, Clinique, what else is sold on there? You guys know, like Natasha Denona, like just any brand that is sold on Sephora, I just buy everything online because I obviously don't have a shop. When I go um, for somewhere where the dad has, does have a shop, I obviously stop in at Sephora, but I literally have not been to a Sephora since March last year. So people are always saying, oh, your foundation doesn't match this and that. It's like, sis, don't tell me. Tell the Sephora website because that's who matches me and they obviously don't do a great job. But no, honestly, I feel like I've talked about this a few times, but... I don't even care. I'm sitting in my studio, no one's gonna see it. Well, apart from everyone on the internet, but you know what I mean. <laughs> it's fine, like I would rather use up the foundation than like waste it because it's not my shade. But I feel like sometimes people on the internet, they just wanna bitch about anything. Okay, so for um, concealer today, I'm actually gonna take one that I haven't used in a very long time. It's the Too Faced What's it called? Multi-use sculpting concealer. Mine is in the shade Swan, I think. Or Snow. Swan. It's in the shade Swan. Um, just gonna put that everywhere. My skin needs a very oops, a lot of loving tonight. There's little pimples and stuff coming up everywhere. I think it'll be very excited to have a breather tomorrow because I'm at work, so no makeup tomorrow. Um, so I'm currently pre-filming this for tomorrow. So yeah, you will see this on Thursday and it was filmed on Wednesday. But yeah, this is my second makeup look for the day. My skin is just not happy right now. It's like, leave me alone. <laughs> I think when I finish this I'm gonna go do 
I have so much to do tonight. I have some like work to do for like my actual work, um, like my job. And then I have to edit three YouTube videos. Um, what else do I have to do? I don't know, other stuff. There's a lot, okay. <laughs> All right, to set that, we're taking the Hourglass Veil setting powder. Then to set my whole face, I'm taking the Cover Effects. What's this even called? This is their Illuminating Setting Powder that's in the shade Light, which looks like a bronzer. I specifically chose it today because um, I'm wearing a darker foundation, so it works a little bit better. <laughs> but there is no, no universe where this is light, okay? I don't know what this literally looks like a loose bronzer to me. Is that even a thing? Loose bronzer? I don't know. But anyway, this is not light, and anyone who thinks it is is lying. Okay, then we do bronzer highlight, and then we can get on to the, the fun part the reason why you're here. I'm going to take the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I don't know how I haven't used these up yet because they're very small pans like they're the little mini ones and i just thought that i would have used it up by now but i made halloween cupcakes today and i ate three of them which probably isn't the best is it i just like i'm the kind of person that if food's around i'll eat it <laughs> so if i want to lose weight at all i just have to not be around food ever again pretty much I have really bad self-control and that's just the truth okay highlight today i'm going to take the um ofra feeling myself highlighter trio this is like the old packaging i'm pretty sure they've updated it now um i don't know what i want to take i think i want to take whatever this one is i think it's rodeo drive for highlighters are just something else you know okay let's get on to the fun part okay so first i'm going to be jumping into my maroon paradise palette this one um and i'm going to take like a mix of the black and the red to make a deep blood kind of color and so what we're going to do with that put that like in there So now I've got something like that. So before I go into any blood or anything, I'm gonna jump into, I need like a really good black, so I'm gonna take the James Charles one. This is the Morphe X James Charles palette, and I'm just gonna take the black out of this palette. I'm gonna take it on a really tiny brush, like a little liner brush. And I'm gonna use that to go around the edge. Then we're going to take a bit of like red and brown. A bit of yellow. And then like some purple, like green. Next, we're going into our stage blood from Maroon, and we're going to put this in the middle of the wound. And then before I do anything else, I just need to blend this a little bit better, like it just doesn't look... I need like a better brush. Not like a better one, but like better for the job, you know? Just 
kind of like that. Mm. I feel like the top one looks good, but I'm just not really happy with the bottom one. But anyway. So then my last thing to do is to go in with my little spongy thing. And I feel like I would like some more blood in the actual wounds because I feel like there's just not enough. but anyway I really need this bit gone like but I don't really know how okay I feel like this looks okay right I don't know anyway I think this is where we're gonna call it a day I feel like I'm pretty happy with like this part I feel like it looks Pretty cool but yeah let me know what you guys think um yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye